Hey guys, so welcome back to the Sensor Pop channel. I thought about making a video of uh, the Power Booster for the Miraculous revival. Um, I understand that this is kind of late because they were announced quite some time back and some people were already playing it. But however, uh, as I live in Europe, I have to get them imported in uh, more than just imported if I want to get them at a good price. I kind of have to wait because there are a lot of this hype when it just came out and I'm not gonna pay a premium especially for cards like that that are known for it. Um, they do have a history of dropping um, after quite some time all right so the whole idea for this video is to take a look uh, at the um, power boosters that came out I believe there were five of them and um, see what do they do and how much help do they did uh, will they do for their individual leaders that they try to help all right okay so king piccolo uh evil ambitions um so maybe before we even talk about the first card here um what happened when it comes to the wish leader is that we found out that they were a lot of fun yeah the whole idea of getting the seven dragon ball making a wish every single turn you get to do three wishes so child wish world peace draw a card or, um, or or you could do the ultimate for for the leader and then you have to flip back um, so that's once per game um, what we found out is that when it comes to the pink uh, is that only because of the design of the card maybe Bandai when it comes to the design testing wise only some cards we found out that only uh, Shenrong was playable because the rest of them are just way too slow for the meta right the whole idea for them that they have to for Shenrong if you do not know all you have to do is he can't attack that's a big downside however all you have to do is to tap him then you take two dragon balls from your deck or your life area that's Shenron. However, when it comes to the rest of the the red, the blue, the green, the, uh, the 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 yellow, they do have their own counterpart. But they have a big problem because what they do is, instead of tapping them, you could attack with them, and if one of your battle cards attack, you get an auto, and then you get to draw, uh, get to look at your life or your battle area, and then you get to draw. That means. You need a battle card on your battle area before you could even uh, activate their ability. Shenrong just tap him because he doesn't attack. He could get two Dragon Balls in turn one. That's a huge tempo play compared to the rest of them because the rest of the other colors, which leader, when you uh, in turn one, you slap down a battle card, you can't even get a, a Dragon Ball. I can guarantee you that that many, uh, like for example, like the red ones, it's uh, oolong. It's really problematic because you could get a Dragon Ball with Mai on turn one. Because for Mai, when you play Mai, you get to search one Dragon Ball, put it put it into your hands. This is something that Mai can do. However, that's a huge problem because in order for uh, your whole combo to work, you need Mai on the board. And there are, at the same time, there were leaders like uh, Vegeta and there were things like uh, Crisis Crusher, which is very prevalent in set 5. In set 5 meta, that could one shot pop off uh, Mai on the board. So you need Mai to be on the board. And then uh, for your whole combo to kick off, because uh, when it comes to Pilaf, group leader Pilaf, he needs, uh, he can give mine the extra 5k. Yeah. So that's the whole thing. It, it loses out huge on tempo because Shenrong in turn one can get two Dragon Balls. And uh, when it comes to my itself uh the the rest of the colors you can't get any dragon ball in turn one you could get one maybe but most of the time you kind of need that card to be in the battle area for example like the red one uh red example that i give so uh you lose a huge in tempo so uh anything that you want to do with the other cards it's always better with shinron yeah so if you want to play gt it's always better with shinron so uh, that's why I really appreciate when it comes to the power boosters, miraculous revival, uh, cards like that comes out. Okay, so let's talk about the first card. 
King Piccolo, uh, Evil Ambition. Uh, when you play this card, if you're, it's a one cost, uh, so that's really important. When you play this card, if your leader is a red Shinron card, you get to choose three Dragon Ball cards from your deck and place them in the drop area. Then shuffle your deck. It, it doesn't go to your hand, so you don't get to draw any cards uh, with uh, this card. So when you play him, you get zero draw, however you get to get three Dragon Balls from your deck and place them in your drop area, then shuffle your deck. If you place cards in your drop area, that means minimum, it needs to have at least one Dragon Ball. Um, you get to choose one King uh, return to you from your deck, activate it, then shuffle your deck. I'm not sure how I feel about this card. Let's talk about a good, good thing about this card. Okay, it's a 5k. Why is it important? It's because that means it can swing. If you don't know good uh, Pilafs, uh, the, the red wish leader, which is the which is similar, I guess, for the blue ones and also for the for the red for for the green and the yellow ones, is that if one of your their ability is this also when one of your battle card attacks, you get to look at your life or your uh, deck, take one Dragon Ball, puts it into your hand, and that card gains 5k for the duration of the turn. So when you play him for one energy. You choose three Dragon Balls, put it into your uh, drop area, take one King's return to you from your deck, activate it, then uh, shuffle your deck. That means uh, King's return to you from your deck basically nets you a um, nets you. If I am not wrong, because I don't play that a uh, 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 King's uh, Piccolo, so you can get it into your hand. The four drop that minus one one uh, when it's king's uh, return to you so it it's it's basically a double striker double striker dual attack because if you remove this guy this particular card from your uh, from the game you he gets to restand and swing again yeah so this is this is kind of good in a, in, in in a sense i don't know because when because Group um, because Wulong's the 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 peel off Wulong the red one can give 15k is it 15k yes 15k so 15k 20k for the king's piccolo that means you swing 35k double strike dual attack and if your opponents negate it using time magic you could choose not to activate his auto so that uh, you you just leave it there and not stand but that's really bad in the sense that you already use your leaders uh, which ability so that card i don't think it's that good i do not know why they feel the need to really push it because it really stops people from playing other type of decks mm, that that kind but um that's that you don't get to draw if you don't play this so in terms of supporting the arch type of the deck that's pretty good However, if you want to be a little bit more flexible, for example, I used to play Oolong with uh, Pilaf uh, with the GT engine. This is not going to help much. However, it can speed up the um, it can speed it up if you need it to be. And also because it is for one energy that you have to play him for one energy. It's unlike Oop, which we will come to uh, later. That Oop does almost the same thing. But you don't have to play Oop. You can just combo with Oop and then you get the same thing. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, however, that's that. Okay, so um, in terms of King Piccolo's evil ambition, not that strong. I would say it's rather weak. Uh, unless you want to play the King's Piccolo engine. Yeah. Let's move on. Move on to the next one. This is the one that I would apologize in advance because I have no prior knowledge when it comes to the blue engine. Okay, so Great Siaman, Hero of Justice. When you play this card, this is two energy. If your leader is blue, choose up to two from your deck, add it to your hand and shuffle. If you add cards, choose one card from your hands and place it into your drop area. Okay, so you at least get to play two Dragon Balls and then if you swing with him, it's a 15k and then you get to draw one card. Hmm, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, moment, 
Uh, let's take a look at. I actually prepare this. So let's go with blue and let's go with the leader type. Okay, when this card attacks again, I'm gonna choose up to one. Okay, th this is this is pretty good uh, because he is not. You don't really require him to swing. So I can see that this leader might be quite good when it comes to because it's not dependent on the Gohan, right? And the Gohan nets you two cards, which is pretty nice in my opinion. Ah, uh, oh no. Ah. Uh, Okay, I'll, I'll do this later. So, when you play this card, if your leader card is Ablution wrong, choose up to two Dragon Ball cards from your hands and then edit, then shuffle your deck. If you do it in this way, you gotta choose one card from your hand and place it in your drop area. So it's pretty good. I like it. And um, the leader itself does not really requires you to have a battle card that swings to draw a card to get a Dragon Ball card. That's pretty good. The downside is that it's from a deck, however a lot of the support cards does not set your life, it's your leader that has the ability to set your life. If you have like a 2-3 cards that are Dragon Ball that's in your life, you're guaranteed at least a 3 turn uh, before you can do anything because you cannot set your life. Yep. So that's that. However, it is not restrictive, that means you don't have to do a certain thing that it asks you to do, like King Piccolo, you have to, you should play the King Piccolo's engine to use him, uh, so that's good. That's definitely better, in my opinion, than, uh, than the red support card. However, you have to play this card and this is too energy, but 2 Dragon Ball really speeds it up, uh, great time in, in, in it. Okay, let's take a look at the green one, which I am uh, the most excited for. I'm most excited for Oop and uh, Ta Ta Tagamo? Tagoma? I don't know. Uh, let's see. The, the yellow one. Yep. So Oop, symbol of hope. When you play a combo with this card, that's the good point. He is 3 energy, so... Uh, realistically speaking, you are not gonna play him. And uh, it's not that every time you attack, so there might be some uh, benefit out of it. It's when you play this card or combo with this card, which is zero cost, so good. If your leader it's a green Shinron card, choose up to three Dragon Ball cards from your deck, place it in the drop area, then shuffle the deck. If you place Cards from your drop area, choose up to one of your opponent's battle card with energy cost of one and KO it. Okay, this is restrictive. However, this is out of the, the three of them that we have uh, reviewed so far, this is one of the best. The reason is because you can just combo with this card. Slap in a defensive combo, slap in an offensive combo, you get to uh, you get the 5k boost and then you get to choose three Dragon Balls and place them in drop area. Bad thing is that it's always a minus one because that's how it is. Uh, but if you place card in your drop area, choose up to one opponent's battle card with energy cost one and KO it. So pick one, bam, it's gone. Um, that's pretty good because you can take care of a lot of this, um, those little silver bullets like uh, Black Marseillean, Crisis Crusher and uh, you can KO them. So he has such a good benefit uh, coming out from this. One of the best out of this three so far. Rival, uh, it's Rival, it's coming. Ta, go, ma. So the yellow one. So for two energy, two yellow, so it's very restrictive. If a Frieza or Sobat uh, card, it's play in your battle area, you can't play this card from your hands without paying its energy cost. So this is basically like a free blocker, if a Frieza or Sobat card. And uh, so you could use almost just, if you're playing the Archetype Frieza, you know how many one drop Frieza cards are there out there? Frieza biding his time, Avenging Frieza, Frieza Revenge in Motion. I know that's a card where Frieza gets cut up, right? Like, shh. But he is still a freezer card. So, and the best part is while play testing it, I actually play two cards to bring out a four cost freezer, you know, the, the mecha freezers, 
And then I can still play Tomango. You know why? Because this is still a Freezer card. When you play this card, if your leader is a yellow Shenron card, choose up to one Dragon Ball from your deck and place it in the drop area. Shuffle your card, draw one card. You can't play Tomago Frieza Loyal Servant for the duration of the turn. So you could do it only once per turn. However, you know how good this card is. This card has an effect that if your leader is a yellow Shenron card, even if you do not have a Dragon Ball card, if you're, you're done, you have that seven Dragon Ball in your drop area. Yeah, you already have it. So we don't even need to put a Dragon Ball. He is still a good card. Whereas compared to Oop, compared to uh, to, to, to King Piccolo or uh, with, with, with the Gohan, the, these great Saiyamin, they are exclusively for that to take out cards, uh, the Dragon Ball. Right, this guy, no. Even if there's a Frieza or Sorbet card in your battle area and that turn you have not played him, you could still slap him down on the, on the field and get to draw one card. Together with Personal Ambition, together with uh, Tomago Frieza Loyal Servant, together with Frieza uh, Revenge in Motion, you are thinning out your deck so quickly. Of course, we always have the problem with uh, Janimba. So let's say your opponent is not playing Janimba. Yeah. Thinning out your deck, it's always a good idea. And you could just slap him down, draw one card. Yeah. So it's not a minus, it's not a plus, but it's a plus. Because you still thin out your deck to get to the cards that you uh, want. And you don't pay energy to get him anyway. Yeah, so imagine you slap him down, you draw personal ambition, use personal ambition, draw another card, and uh, just keep going so that you get to draw the cards that you need. So you don't have to choose up to one, no, uh, just to draw the card. No, you don't have to. You just you could slap him down and just draw a card, and then you have a 5k on the board uh, for nothing, but you still have a 5k on the board. Yeah. Uh, it will be rather rather broken if he's a blocker but um, it's good that they didn't put it as a blocker because then he will be way 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 so much better than the rest of them but he's he's pretty good he is uh, out of the four that we revealed so far I would say that Tomago is the best second is Oop on how fast it helps and then uh, comes with a great Saiyaman and then King Piccolo King Piccolo being the worst Simply because, number one, he you need to play him. Number two, uh, he's restrictive to uh, the King Piccolo's engine. Yep. However, um, downside when it comes to Tomago is he only gets one Dragon Ball, only one. But it's a pretty good design because he he's even in terms of speed, he's not there, right? Because the rest of them it's three Dragon Balls, two Dragon Balls. Three Dragon Balls, so they, they're really fast. This guy, no, he's not. He's not fast. But then um, you get to play him for free, and then he get you get to draw a card no matter what. So the rest of them, it's you get to draw two. You get to get two Dragon Balls into your hand. You have to discard one. So basically, you, it's a draw one. It helps to thin out your deck with Great Saiyaman. With uh, the rest of them, it's three straight into your drop area. You don't get a draw out of it. King Piccolo, yes you do, it's a plus two when it comes to King Piccolo. However, you have to play the King's Piccolo engine yeah, in order for you to net the two, okay? But in my opinion, I'll give this guy the best one. Okay, so let's talk about the, the black power boosters. We don't need any power boosters for the Shinron card. So what did they do to power boost the black engine? Vegeta reluctant reinforcement. So for three energy, what do you get? It's a barrier card. When you play this card, if a leader is black, Saiyan, mm -hmm. so it's you can't do it with the Shenron. Place the top five cards from your deck into your drop area. Uh, tap one, place this card in your owner's drop area. Choose one black battle card with 19 power from your drop area and play it. So for three energy, 
what do you get? You get a card that is barrier. That's good because you can safely go for a swing unless you're against blue, which they could mafuba it. Uh, when you play the, but mafuba, this card seems not such a good idea anyway. So when you play this card, uh, you get to mew top 5. It is very important for you to mew top 5. I will explain why later. And activate main. You just tap one energy. You get to bring out another black battle card with 19 power. Very specific. From drop area. And then you play it. Vegeta, Zeno. Doesn't really matter over here. Matter, it's Saiyan. What are we? What are what are they trying to power boost here? They're trying to power boost this guy. So this is the leader that they want you to play, a uh, Black Saiyan card. However, there's another Black Saiyan card. Broly is a Black Saiyan card, by the way. So you could maybe try this out with uh, Broly. Um. So when this card attacks, draw one card, you get a burst three. And uh, once per turn burst three, choose up to one black battle card with energy three or more from the drop area, add it to your hand, this card gain. So um, you get to do this recycle, right? So you get to keep on uh, kind of milling yourself. The reason why you want to mill yourself is because you want to play the Saiyan engine as much as you can. You don't need, um, you don't need a it to be totally black even though it says it here black but come on if you have one battle card that is uh, it's three or more you could already do it so you can play with the green um, Saiyan engine or yellow Saiyan engine whatever you like with the power boosters this guy is a target black Mar Saiyan the devastator so here's a crit three Three energy, but you get to play for one energy, you get to bring him out during your turn. If your leader is black and there are 15 or more Saiyan cards in your and your opponent's drop area when this card attacks, when this card's attack is negated or when this card fails to do damage to your opponent in a battle with their leader card. Choose one card from your opponent's life and send it to warp. Yeah. So um, this is the equivalent of participation trophy in Dragon Ball Super Card Game. <laughs> you tried your best, but you failed to do damage to your opponent. Then uh, your opponent takes one life anyway. So um, is he a very good card? He is actually a very good card if you play a Chevron Veggie Engine. Because you know with all these veggies they are all saying and then you swing with Shenron and then uh, your opponent Bob uh, bot wipes you with Kami and then you have 15 Saiyan cards in your uh, or your opponent's battle area if your opponent is helping you uh, not in your, in, that, in your drop area count your opponent's drop area and if he has also Saiyan cards if you fulfill 15 a uh, child wish this, uh, you could slap this guy on the field go for triple attack so swing one time your opponent can negate or not negate that's his problem it's a guaranteed three lives that your opponent is gonna uh, gonna gonna incur okay um, da -da -da -da, when this card attacks when this card fails to do damage to your opponent battle with their leader card um, yep choose up to one of your opponent's life and send it to war so this is what um, this card is trying to bring out so you get a 20k swing tap one uh, put this into your drop area, you get to meal 5 so that you help yourself to achieve that 15 uh, Saiyan card by yourself, hopefully um, with the leader being burst and even burst on his awakened side, hopefully you can achieve that 15 card and get that participation trophy uh, you need. Yep. So that's that. For I, I'm, I would not group this as uh, one of the wish leader. So. When it comes to a wish leader, you know, yellow comes first, then it comes to green, blue, red, red being the weakest in my opinion. Uh, this is by itself another uh, power boost just for a non-wish leader. So I would not say, oh, this is much better than uh, uh, Tagoma because they're just in a different league altogether. They are designed to do different things. The other four colors are designed to do a different thing. This card is designed to do a different thing. So that's that. So is this card good? Um, for those people who wanted to play Black Marseille, this is better than nothing. 
Yeah, <laughs> so that's what I can say. However, uh, pretty good, but you know, you you just gonna get get take that one life. Yeah, you know who can take one life too? That is the uh, Frieza back from health. Yeah, back from not health, back from hell. Yeah. Yesterday I won a game because of that. My opponent didn't expect that. I have a uh, Frieza back back from uh, hell, and then I put it in. I was playing Frieza, the wish leader, so it's yellow Shenron, and then my opponent has seven tap cards. I swing with it, activate main, and my opponent's die. Nope. So that card can do that too, and rather efficiently. All right. Uh, okay. So that's that. Okay. So. Um, if you're staying with me for so long listening to me talking about all these cards thank you so uh so this is a short video not a short video this is a video i just want to talk about the power boosters now i got my hands on it and been playing with some of them like oop and uh tagoma for some time now uh this is my opinion what i really like it's bandai going back to all this leader and then um giving them support I really l enjoy the card game right now, Al although I'm kind of disappointed with the meta because Super Shenron is extremely toxic. Broly is rather toxic um, because, you know, you, you, you're playing with your opponent and opponent is just like a two energy. And he could do all this really, really big thing. And then if you don't die, you kind of have like two energy and then you slap down your turret. You still can't uh, kick off most of your stuff if you're not playing one of the stronger decks. However, that's that. Um, that's always with every card game. Yep. What I really like is uh, having all these cards that I can play, going back to the older leaders and revisit them and making them a little bit more powerful. Like with Demigra. That's something that I love so much. And with Baby Vegeta, that's so good. Yeah. So uh, thank you guys for listening. If you're staying with me for that long, uh, let's hear from each other in the next video. Right. Ciao. Bye.